Lanny Davis, the attorney representing Michael Cohen, said early Wednesday that his client is not seeking a pardon from President Trump amid the release of a tape Cohen recorded of Trump. Davis appeared on ABC's Good Morning America, where he spoke about the tape in which Cohen talks to Trump about paying for the rights to a story of a former Playboy model who alleged she had an affair with Trump. Michael Cohen has turned a corner in his life and he's now dedicated to telling the truth to everyone and we'll see what happens," Davis, who is a columnist for The Hill, said. Davis acknowledged the tape, which Cohen secretly recorded, does not prove Trump committed a crime of any kind, but said the issue is about the president's tendency to lie. This is about truth versus lying, and ultimately Donald Trump is going to be done in by the truth," Davis said. Shortly after the tape was aired on CNN late Wednesday, Michael Avenatti, an attorney for adult film star Stormy Daniels, tweeted that Cohen is not innocent, nor is he a victim. Daniels is suing Cohen for defamation and to void a non-disclosure agreement related to her alleged affair with Trump. They are playing you and aiming for a pardon, Avenatti tweeted, apparently addressing Davis. Asked about the tweet Wednesday morning, Davis denied that Cohen is looking for a pardon. And Mr. Avenatti is in litigation. People in litigation, say things about one another then they settle and everything is fine," he said. What he's saying about Mr. Cohen is not true," he added. It's part of a litigation attack and it happens between lawyers. Cohen is reportedly under investigation for bank fraud and campaign finance law violations in the Southern District of New York. He has raised speculation he might cooperate with investigators in recent weeks after saying his first loyalty is to the country, not Trump. The White House previously refused to rule out a pardon for Cohen. Rudy Giuliani, Trump's attorney in the Russia probe, has said he's urged the president not to think about pardons in that case while it is ongoing. Instead, he suggested the investigation could be cleaned up with pardons after it's finished.